Karen, what's up? Benny's been arrested. I kinda like that idiot. Too bad. Yeah, too bad for Frank. From what I hear, Frank's tossing Benny under the bus, using him as a fall guy. We can spring Benny, I bet we can flip him. And he'll know Frank's weakest points. Exactly. They're about to escort him from the station to City Hall for his arraignment. It'd be a shame if some handsome psycho were to storm the station and cause some mayhem and maybe release the people being held there. I'm on it. Karen, I'm too late. Convoy's pulling away from the station. Stay on him. Look for an opportunity to get Benny out of there. to kill me too? No, I'm here to get you out of here. Let's go. I knew this was gonna happen. I could tell it was coming. I was having panic attacks all the time. I, I just knew Frank was gonna do something like this. He set me up. Then he tells his entire crew that I'm a rat. Then I'm gonna snitch on all of them. Unless they could silence me for good. Benny, Frank's gotta go. You know it, I know it. How do we do it? Goodman! He's the key. If you can expose him, or get him to flip on Frank, it's all over. So, how do we do it? Okay, okay. Uh, 
I got pictures of the good reverend doing things good reverend shouldn't do. But Frank told me to take him and hold on to him. A yeah, security measure. Thanks, Jay. Uh, sorry for all the times I uh, roughed you up and stuff. No worries, Ben. I'll meet you at the club in a few. Hey, you. Hey. Thanks for sticking by me through all this. Yeah, sure. Uh, I just, uh... So, I'm thinking it's time we take the club back. What are you thinking? Stealth? Subterfuge? Trojan horse? I'm thinking we kick the doors down, guns blazing, and shoot every cop sucker we see. That works. Consider this an eviction notice, fucksticks! I really wasn't a fan of the whole dickhead motif. Glad we did something about that. Now we get to focus on rocking Frank's boat. You ready to do this? Couldn't be readier. I keep thinking about Frank, and you know what keeps nagging at me? What's that? That he just gets away with it. That he's worked the system so no one can touch him. We try to hurt him, but it never sticks. I'm sensing a plan. Frank has an anger problem, right? I'm thinking, maybe one afternoon, he comes home and loses it. Wrecks his house and takes it out on those nearest and dearest. Then, some innocent bystander calls and tips off the press. Says, when is this violence going to end? The only industry in this town Frank doesn't own. Exactly. The cops will be forced to do something with the public watching. Do you think you could break in and do the job? Sure.
Looks like it's my lucky day. This is private property. Vegas Gazette. Hi. I just heard some gunshots in my neighborhood. Coming from the Veliano place. I called the police, but they're useless. When are the cops gonna do something about the gang violence in this town? <laughs> that ought to get Frank's attention.
Frank's gonna go berserk. He probably already is. The headline on the Gazette's website is, Vegas cops continue to ignore gang violence. That was fast. Technology's a beautiful thing. Karen. Go away, Jason. Talk to me. No more talking. I want to help you. Help me? Am I wearing a t-shirt that says, little girl in distress? I don't need your help. This isn't your fight. I don't want to see you anymore. Just fuck off back to wherever, okay? What are you gonna do? What we should have done a long time ago. Shit. Jason! Come on, Karen! We gotta go! No! There's too many of them! Come on! You can't avenge Vera if you're dead! Fine! I told you to stay away. Karen, I'm on your side. 
Remember how I told you about my dad? Killed in an alley for trying to clean up the force? Yeah. Guess who was the trigger man? That's right. Frank. Frank fucking Velliano. He told me. While he had me at his casino, he laughed about it. I'm sorry. I want to get that motherfucker. We will, Karen. We will. Oh, good, you made it. Uh, come on, you drive. I, uh, I gotta finish working on something. You seem nervous, Ben. Oh, yeah, you know, uh, I'm just trying to finish putting this thing together. And, uh, I, I don't know, I'm just not great with explosives. Wait, what? That's a bomb? I told you, we're gonna blow up a trailer park. With that? That thing looks like an eggplant. Plastics. Old school. Don't worry. Oh, I think I got it all hooked up right now. Ah! What did Frank tell you to do? That guy you kidnapped finally spilled his beans. So Frank tells me, Benny, you dumb shit. The huevos are meeting in the Street of Dreams trailer park. I want you to crash the party. Gotcha. So I'm what? Protection? No, uh, you're like a... Uh, a diversion. You're gonna set up this here explosive and... Oh. What? What? It's ticking. What? Throw it out the window! Throw it out the window! Wait, no. It's my watch. Anyway, you're gonna set this explosive up in front. When you trigger it, Los Huevos will be running around all startled and confused like. You take them out, right? Meanwhile, I'm sneaking the back, and I'm stealing this package. So, there's a package? Yeah, yeah, there's this package we gotta get. Supposed to lead us to whoever's supplying those huevos behind Frank's back. Fine. Set up them charges by that post over there. Hold them off till I give you a ring. They're probably packing assault rifles, so uh, try not to get shredded into a pile of bloody coleslaw. Yeah. Okay. We're, uh, we're good. Meet me around back. Ah, stinks. 
Let's go. We gotta meet Frank. You drive. Turn the air on. It is on. What's the matter with you? Everything's all typing. Feels like I'm underwater. I don't know. That's probably just a chilly dog. Keep driving. I gotta ask you something. Shoot. You ever, like, wake up in the middle of the night? Like, feel like you, you got ghosts on all sides of you, trying to smother you with pillows and whatnot? Mm, can't say I do, man. I was reading this book the other day about, like, people who are connected to the spirit world and whatnot. And they got, like... The hell was that? Huh? There's someone in the trunk. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, the package. You didn't tell me the package was a person. You didn't ask. So yeah, I'm reading this book, and you wouldn't believe what actually happened when you turn off the light. Benny, who's back there? The person who was dealing with huevos. Someone Frank's not happy with, that's all that matters. So, I'm reading this book by this spirit medium lady, and she's like... Jason, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Everything okay, Ben? This is probably my last day alive, so uh, I just want to state for the official on the record and such that uh, Frank did wrong by you. What are you talking about, last day alive? Frank told me to hit up some supply drops and stashes, right? From some of the other families and outfits running around Vegas. So I got a guy following their couriers around. Problem is, that if my guy's tailing the couriers, no one's actually picking up what they're dropping off. Don't worry, Ben. I'll help you out. Oh, you're the best. I'll text you the locations.
Jay, seriously, thanks. I won't forget this. Sure, Ben. Shootout last night on the Spanish Strip. Police dispatch said the Huevos were using MP5s. So? So, the Huevos get their guns from my guys. I do not allow them to have automatics, which means they're dealing with somebody else behind my back. I am not letting them get another foothold. Not in Vegas. I need to know who the Huevos are dealing with. Who is their connection? So you're gonna head over to Taco Town, and you're gonna kidnap a lieutenant by the name of Frisco. Then you're gonna bring that little prick to me, understood? Oh. 
back there. Yeah. I got him in the trunk. Nice. Park the car outside my joint and leave the keys under the seat. My fellows will deal with the rest. When am I done, Frank? What did you say? When is this over? When am I done? Oh, whenever you feel like being done, Jason. By all means. Take your fucking leave. Got any other questions for me? No. Good.
walking. 